reception there for the guys with RT, RVTV and just Stuart this morning. I, I wish I could get love like that. <laughs> no kidding. You're so popular, Keith. <laughs> It's great out here. It's it's uh, easy to be popular when you're part of something like this. Uh, it's just great to be able to showcase these teams and these towns. The cheerleaders have been fantastic. They've been out here for uh, 20 minutes already. Uh, great crowd out here, West Central Valley. We're in the town of Stewart, and I'm joined by the cheerleading coach, Lori Christensen. And uh, Lori, this has been fun to watch. What enthusiasm you have. What's the secret? Um, our students and the teams are our spirit. There's a lot of spirit out here. Now, I've seen your girls will sacrifice, too. They were out there uh, on, a, on the pavement, uh, tumbling on the pavement, going to their knees on the pavement. That's uh, dedication. Uh, th that's dedication, right. Uh, what, what do you look for from your cheer squad? Like, what kind of girls are you looking for here to be Wildcats? Well, we just look for the lots of spirit. Um, um, well, there's lots of spirit out here, that's for sure. Uh, look, this crowd is fantastic. Is this what, in this community, are you used to people showing up no matter what you do to support the, uh, the Wildcats? Yes, yes. They all come out for football games, volleyball, basketball, track. Yes. You name it. That's what's been impressive here. We've seen all the teams out here, and I love that. Thank you so much for letting us be part of this. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. We have a couple of football players here. We got... Uh, we got Braden, we've got Caden, and I look forward to their podcast. Looks like they brought uh, some beef with them too here. Yeah. What's your name? Aiden Pippen. Come on, it's Braden, Caden, and Aiden. Uh, you, really, you guys put me on? Yeah, we had to. We had to do it for you. Okay, Braden, Caden, Aiden. Look forward to their podcast. That'll be coming up soon. So, uh, how's the football season going? Good. We're one and one right now, coming from a loss, but we're ready to get the win tomorrow. Okay. What uh, What do you love about football? What's What's your favorite thing? Uh, the family, the support we have all around the school, the community, just the support we always get. Seems like there is a lot of support here. What, what's your favorite part about being a Wildcat? You know, I love the, just the relationships you build and how everyone's just built together and just a team. Do you play football in the sunglasses or just for like pep rallies? No, it, I play with them on. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, uh, you're the big guy. I, they told me you shaved like an hour ago. I mean, how much testosterone do you have running through you? Just, it's crazy out there. Friday night lights get you going. Yeah. What, uh, what, what kind of prediction do you have for tomorrow night's game? Because usually a lot of teams get that post RV TV bump and they just they play on a different level. Well, we're all ready to get out there and whoop some butt. <laughs> Coming off a loss feels it's bad, but we'll get out there and get it done. Hey, next game, next game, next man up. Uh, it's Braden, Caden, and Aiden. Maybe I don't know. They could be. They could be putting me on here. RVTV. Uh, they've had a pep rally here. It's just ending now, and it's been terrific. You saw support here uh, from the community. Love to see that. Also love featuring not only like uh, Aiden, Braden, and Caden and the football team, but we saw the volleyball team. We saw the cross country tr team, the dance squad, the cheerleaders the band, uh, the, the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, they had the choir singing the national anthem. It's been really nice. We'll be back here after the NFL game, of course, on WHO 13 tonight. It is the Bills at Rams. And now let's take a look at some other football action going on this weekend.